Michigan Department of Health and Human Services settled a lawsuit last week with a private child welfare agency that challenged its non discrimination policies. The decision means faith based adoption agencies in Michigan are allowed to refuse to place children in LGBTQ plus homes. I spoke with the president of DA Blodgett St. John's, who tells me their organization values the support of all families in Michigan, especially at a time when the need for foster care and adoption is greater than ever. Well, great to see you. I'm glad you're here to talk about this because what was your reaction when you heard about the settlement last week? Yeah, well, th thanks for having me. Um, and, um, you know, the first reaction I had, um, Michelle, was to think about our foster homes and adoptive homes and current team members that are part of the LGBTQ plus uh, community and want them to know that DABSJ welcomes all families, all kids, and all community members, um, including our LGBTQ family plus families uh, and youth that we support. There are so many of them. Certainly, you're always looking for families to foster and to adopt, and this really seems like a disappointment and, and, and almost doesn't make sense. Well, with over 10,000 kids in foster care across the state, um, and 2,000 of those children, ha children having a goal for adoption, um, it certainly means we need more loving, safe, stable homes for kids to come to and heal from um, abuse and neglect that they've experienced. So um, at DA Blood at St. John's, we're looking for the community to help us step up to help kids heal, right? And our kids are diverse, our families are diverse, and so we welcome diverse families to our door to help us support those kids. Um, so with the, with the need so great, I think we should expand who we um, so who we're seeking out and um, support all of our foster parents and community members who are willing to help kids. And this this settlement certainly won't change that for your organization. If DA Blood at St. John's um, stands strong and support of our um, families and youth um, uh, and all families, we, we have sort of a saying, all families, all children, and all community members are, are supported by DA Blood at St. John's, and we believe love makes a family. And so um, we do want um, to create more homes for kids. So if, if someone has interest and isn't quite sure who they should go and um, seek information about being a foster parent or adoptive parent, we welcome you to reach us um, at DA Blood at St. John's on our website and or through um, our foster parent info at DABSJ dot org email address. Um, we're here to help. We're here to support. Um, and together, um, we'll all be able to support our kids and families better in Mich West Michigan. Um, and speaking about fostering and adoption, I, I know that there are an adoption. I know that there um, is a need, especially for older kids, too. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. Mm -hmm. We really are looking for more foster homes that are able to take uh, children eight years and older um, into their home. And certainly um, also uh, homes that we're able to take sibling groups together. We wanna keep siblings together whenever possible. And so we need more homes. If you have interest in supporting kids eight years and older and supporting um, brothers, sisters, sisters, brothers to stay together, um, please see uh, our uh, website and or email that foster parent info at dabsj.org um, email address and find out more. We're, we're here to help you uh, navigate that, um, that too. Sounds good. Well, I appreciate your time today. Thanks so much. Thank you.